we're going out today to try to find wild dolphins and attach tags to them, which are little recording tags that can give us information about their sounds that they're making and also give us information about the behavior um, as they're in the bay in their own wild environment. A dolphin's been captured in shallow water. The team work rapidly to minimize distress to the animal. Until now, it's been almost impossible to gather useful sound recordings of wild dolphins, because when in a group, you can't tell which one is making which sound. Vincent's solution is to attach a recording device to the animal's head. Nicholas, hmm? Nicholas, get signal. Roger that. Okay. It will now record all the sounds and calls made by this individual dolphin while the team keep a record of its movements. In addition, the device transmits a signal so they can track the dolphin and recover the unique data at the end. The dolphins released. It's part of a bigger program, and several dolphins are tagged. At the same time, the scientists are constantly observing them, so later they can match their behavior to the sounds they're making. The device here measures the distance between the dolphins. What's going on over there? Lots of splashing. I think that's that dorsal fin. Right behind Yeah, there are two dolphins. There's a variety of data that we're collecting here from the boat. What we can look at is what the animal is doing, whether it's traveling, whether it's foraging, whether it's socializing with others. Those, those kinds of things we can observe from the surface. The team has been tracking the dolphins for six hours. The recorder then automatically detaches itself from the animal captured earlier, and the team retrieve it. Back at base, the sounds can be analyzed. At first listen, it's a cacophony, a whole range of dolphin sounds, a mixture of clicks, whistles and pulses. Half these sounds are not relevant to the study. They're used by the dolphins to find their way around. They're called echolocation clicks. But Vincent's interested in these other ones, sounds they use for communication, and one in particular. And there's one very fascinating sound, which is the signature whistle. And the signature whistle is a call that in a way labels the identity of an animal. It's, it's broadcasting who you are. So here's an example of a signature whistle from just one animal. 